Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of BC Plus Live. I'm your host, Jeremiah, W9JAM. Today, we are actually going to talk about the new radio from Anytone, the ATD168UV, also referred to as the D168. This is a new radio that they are releasing, and I've got one of the sample units right here. The radio itself has a faster processor in it, as well as the radio itself has a faster processor, so the boot time is actually increased or decreased. So uh, it actually works a lot faster now. And then the other thing is the battery itself no longer has your belt clip. I don't know if you can see this very well or not, but the metal casing inside the radio itself actually is where the battery clip connects now. So instead of having to worry about if your battery gets dislodged, the whole radio falling off your side and hitting the ground, it's on it itself. The other thing is the screen layout has changed. You'll notice that the screen is more vertical than horizontal. So I'm not sure if you can see that real well with the boot logo booting up. <clears throat> but it is a more or vertical layout than the horizontal screen, as well as it is a 5-watt radio. And let me pull up the screen here. And this radio is available for pre-order now on our website. Expected release is our expected shipping date is the end of October for these radios. So let's see here. Um, I know there's going to be some questions in YouTube here in just a second. Let me share my screen here. And, and All I right. Believe, I believe Jeremiah it had where you could, it had the same number of channels, zones, and talk groups, things like that, as the 878 UV2 Plus currently has as well, right? Yes, uh, it is 10,000 talk groups, 4,000 channels, and 500,000 digital contacts. So the full user ID database from radioid.net will actually fit in it. So that is one big thing that we wanted to make sure was a distinct capability of the radio. But here is actually the website that you can go to. Uh, it's Bridgecom Systems. And you can go to the search bar right here from the home page and just type in D168. And it should pull you up right here to where you can pre-order. Um, the radio is $199.99. You will get the new ATD168 UV course with the radio. And this will be a training course that... I'm going to get some feedback from the customers on on how we can take and make sure that, you know, the course itself is sufficient to provide all the materials that you guys need, whether it's building a code plug from scratch, building onto an existing code plug. If you already have the 878, you can actually use that code plug with this radio. The import and export features will automatically sync everything. The only thing as of right now, Anytone is aware of it and they are working on it, is your optional button settings don't transfer, but they are looking into the possibility of making a optional settings export. So you'll be able to take and do that as well. So there is that. One second here. Now, the radio includes a USB-C port on the radio that is dual purpose. Not sure if you guys will be able to see this real well or not in the little bitty screen of me up in the corner, but you've got your standard K-style connector for your speaker mic, so you can still use your existing 878 accessories. But down here is the USB-C port, and it serves to charge the radio, as well as also... <laughs> taking and allowing you to program the radio with any USB-C data capable cable. So if it's just a strict USB-C power cable, it won't work. But if it's a data cable, like the kind you sync your phone with to your computer, it will work. Now, as far as uh, some of the benefits, one is the American-based real customer service 
we are based in the US and in most cases you will get me to help you with any issues that you have. We also have some other technicians that are here in the US as well. They also have the UHF, VHF dual band on this radio with analog and DMR capability. So you can have one radio to do both your DMR and your analog. So you don't have to worry about having separate radios for that. Again, the 500,000 contact list capacity with the current size is 271,667 as of tonight. Not sure if you guys knew this or not, but they actually update that contact list twice a day. Once at 10 a.m. and once at 5 p.m., I believe it is. The 10,000 talk group list capacity, so you can have different talk groups um, set up in the radio, um, as well as the 4,000 channel capacity. And you can mix and match these channels any way that you want when you put them into a zone. Um, the zone can hold 256 channels, and you can have 256 zones. So a lot of flexibility with that. Now, as far as what's in the box, you're going to get the radio. It comes with two batteries, not just one, um, two. Um, so you get a 1800 milliamp hour and a 2500 milliamp hour battery. Two antennas, a short stubby one like this, as well as a longer one that kind of resembles uh, one of the ones that we sell on the store. Um, so you've got that as well. Um, the charging slash programming cable. You also get, let me grab it here for you guys so you can see what the charger looks like. Um, this is the charger cradle. It's, you don't have to worry about a USB, or excuse me, a 12 volt barrel connector anymore. It's a USB-C connector, five volt. It goes right into this. So you can do that. And in here as well, radio just sits down in here to charge. Or you can take and just plug in the cable to the side to charge it. So you've got the flexibility both ways, especially if you're in the car. Because most people have a USB-C cable for either themselves or their friends in their car. Um, the other thing is the power levels on this. Um, it has four different power levels. 5 watt, 2.5 watt, 1 watt, and 0.2 watts for using it with a hotspot in the house. So you've got your low, your medium, your high, and your turbo. Now, this particular model uh, that I'm showing here for pre-order is the amateur version. There will be a commercial version later on. Uh, in amateur, it is 144 to 148 megahertz on VHF and 420 megahertz to 450 megahertz on UHF. Um, the auto sensing technology, it automatically senses digital or analog transmissions and connects accordingly. Um, I've got to get clarification on that from Anytone on what they mean by connects accordingly on that. Um, I'm thinking that there may be some new technology that I'm not aware of that they're referring to. Um, also you still have your VFO. And it does have two VFOs, not just one. Um, you can do two channels per frequency because of the uh, tier two DMR. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, DMR operates on 12.5 kilohertz. So each one is a different time slot. You've got time slot one, time slot two, and that makes up the 25 kilohertz uh, together. So you're taking 25 kilohertz and splitting it in half and each one's a time slot um so let's see the display is still a 1.77 inch tft color lcd display um you can see the operating mode you're in um you can see the caller id uh information as far as the person's name their location their call sign and the signal strength coming in um, Again, it does analog 12.5K and 25K uh, bandwidth, as well as 12.5K for DMR. Now, something that is new is this will actually do up to four hours of analog voice recording. So you can record the channel 
and uh, record your voice going through the radio. So you can record the whole conversation. So um, if you need to take notes or something like that, somebody's giving you directions to the ham fest, something like that, you can use that to, you know, in case you're like me and your handwriting looks like the doctor writing a prescription out, um, you'll definitely want to have that capability as well. Um, there is a new um, feature on this radio. It is QDC 1200, uh, which is Anytone's version of the MDC 1200 standard. So you will be able to use that with existing MDC systems. Um, the firmware is still going to be updatable by the user, so you'll still be able to update that through the CPS. Um, you can do your CTCSS, DCS tones, DTMF tones, two tone and five tone, as well as the uh, QDC. Um, now it says vibration alerts. I haven't uh, turned that on yet. I haven't tested that. Um, but I will say that if any tone is saying it's in there, it's going to be in there. Um, which will be something interesting for, you know, SMS messages. Um, cause if somebody's sending you a message and you've got the radio on your hip and, you know, you're trying to be quiet while having a conversation, it's good. Instead of somebody just yelling for you over the radio, they can send you a direct message. Um, now one antenna is the five inch and the other is the 15 inch antenna and it is windows software programming. Um, there is no Mac option for Apple computers or Linux option uh, at this time. Um, Anytone has said that there won't be a Mac option, but I know there are some open source programs um, that are available that can do programming on Apple or Linux for the older 878 series radios. Um, but it's not compatible with the current generation of 578 and Unfortunately, that's about as much testing as I can do on that um, for myself. Um, it is a smaller size and a little bit lighter weight, and it's got better frequency stability compared to the 868 UV and the 878 UV. So they have tightened up the frequency stability on it. And here is our chart. I'm not sure if you guys can see this okay, but here's the side by side comparison with the. Uh, 878 UV2 Plus. Let me see if I can pull this in here, make that a little bigger for you guys. Um, so it doesn't have GPS, it doesn't have Bluetooth, and there's no third button on top. Um, for those of you familiar with the 878, there is a PF3 button on top by the antenna that you can use as a um, multifunction button. Um, we usually set it up for people as the quick disconnect for uh, Brandmeister, so you're able to disconnect from talk groups uh, right away. Um, APRS analog transmit, yes, but only if you set your coordinates in the CPS software and it's on fixed beacon. Um, it doesn't have a GPS receiver, so it can't automatically get that. You've got to turn that on in the software itself. Um, there is no analog APRS receive on this unit, but there is digital APRS transmit and receive on this unit with fixed beacon turned on. Um, there is no air band. Um, you can still do your SMS APRS uh, messages. Um, there is the contact list. The memory capacity is still uh, two gigs, it looks like. Um, USB C charging, instead of uh, the new battery for the 878s um, is built into the radio itself. Um, satellite, any tones listing yes. And digital and analog recording is four hours compared to just digital recording on the 878. Um, there's enhanced noise reduction. QDC is new in this one. Um, Part 90 certification uh, for commercial use should be available by the middle of September. Um, and again, VHF is 5 watts, 2.5 watts, 1 watt, and 0.2 watts. 
And then UHF is 4.5 watts, 2.5 watts, 1 watt, and 0.2 watts. So you only lose half a watt on UHF. And then you get two batteries instead of one. Um, so um, let's pull this over here. Uh, here is what the screen is going to look like on the radio. Um, I know that's a little blurry. Um, let me see if I can get that to pull up a little bit better. Um, and this is a closer view. Um, there is an outline on the PTT button around the edge. I don't know if you guys can see that real well on this one, but uh, they've done a little bit of rework on the PTT button. Um, my guess is to make it where it can't easily be pulled out by a kid who gets his hands on your radio. Um, as well as something you may notice is the keyboard is very reminiscent of the keyboard on the BT-01. Uh, it is almost the same size keyboard. Um, so there is that. Um, let's see. And here's the dimensions of the radio. Uh, 2.11 inches uh, in depth, 4.7 inches tall. Uh, your channel and volume knob are right here. And as you can tell, your battery indicator is right here. And there's that dual VFO. And you'll notice that your uh, antenna signal strength is right here now. This also doubles as your power output indicator. Uh, so not only will you have the low, high, medium, and turbo right here up in the top left corner, but it'll also show this in green right here up to the power level that you've selected. And then your PTT button, your top key, and your bu uh, button key. Now, one thing that is neat on this radio is they took something from the BTO one that is the buttons have triple functionality. What I mean by that is you have a short press, a long one second press, and then a two second press that you can configure for the button. So three different button press uh, that you can do to set up the radio. So let's say you want one of these buttons to be your power and then um, long press is your scan. And then the other one is voltage. So you can see what your battery voltage is truly at. And then the bottom one, you could set up for your quick disconnect from Brandmeister, sub channel off and, oh, I don't know, your VFO switch. And then it comes with the two batteries. So, and you can see where the metal chassis comes out over the top of the battery to actually connect your belt clip now. So that is something that is a new and improved design for those of you who have gotten the 878 and been unfortunate enough to drop it from a great height. You may have noticed the spring in certain circumstances can pop out and cause the battery clip to have to be replaced. We do carry that part, so if that ever happens to you, just let us know, and we can get you a replacement part for that. And also, here is all the accessories that are going to be in the box. So starting from left to right, you've got the stubby antenna, the longer antenna, the small battery, the large battery, and then the charger cradle, and then the AC adapter, uh, that plugs into the wall and then you plug your USB-C cable into here and you can either plug the radio directly into it or plug that same cable into the charger cradle. Then the USB-C programming cable slash charger cable and then the belt clip. And I do have to say I like this belt clip on here a lot more than the one that's on the 878. It seems like it's got a little bit more tension to me, but it doesn't fight you if that makes sense when you're trying to get it into your belt or onto your belt. <laughs>